In this video, you're going to quickly learn how you can build your own AI assistant. You're going to train the ChatGPT on any document that you want. And then based on this knowledge base, the chatbot is going to be able to answer any questions that your prospect have. The first thing you want to do is to go to your OpenAI and log in. And then on the left panel, you want to go to assistants. In this case, we are going to create a new one. So you can go ahead and click over here. And then you want to set up your assistant. So you want to give it a name, instructions, then the model. And then you can also choose different tools and upload any files that the chatbot is going to be trained on. And so in this case, just to save time, I have already done that. So I gave my assistant name, Facebook Messenger chatbot, and then I went on and created this prompt over here. You can pause the video and read through it. I'm not gonna read through it, but if you wanna know how you can write prompts like these ones with different parameters and get the highest quality results, then go and check out the first thing in the description down below, where I put together a totally free Node.js resource, where I explained you the 3P framework that I put together, which teaches you how you can utilize different parameters to write prompts like these ones when you are creating your AI automations. I'm going to go back and the third thing we have to set up is our model. In this case, you want to use the GPT-4 11.0.6. You want to use this one over the GPT-4 because this model is newer and it's going to allow you to interact with files and use that as a knowledge base for the chatbot. This is not available for the GPT-4, so make sure to choose this one. If you are curious about what the number stands for, it's basically a date when the model was introduced. All right, and the next important thing is that you want to choose the tools. You want to check both of them because you can see that if I uncheck them, you are not going to be able to continue and create your assistant. The tools need to be checked on, as you can see over here. And then only then the assistant is going to be able to handle files, which is the most important part of our chatbot. We want to upload files about our business, like the description, maybe pricing, maybe uh, FAQ. And then the chatbot is going to use that information to answer any question. And that leads me to the last step, which is uploading the files. You want to go ahead and add your files over here. I have already uploaded a file that includes the description of the business, FAQ, pricing, and all the information that is necessary to answer any questions that the lead or prospect might have about our business. All right, and then you're basically done. You can simply click on save. When you create your assistant, you can also test it out on OpenAI. So you can click on this icon over here, and then you can see that a new window like this opens up. And then we have the description of our chatbot on the left panel. And then in the middle, we have the thread. So just to test it out, I would also recommend you to do so. I'm going to ask a simple question, what is pop-up slant? And I'm going to hit run. And then you can see that we got the answer. So the chatbot used the file that we have put together that was describing the business pricing and included also the FAQ and then created this nice overview about what the business is. All right, and when you have successfully created your AI assistant, as well as tested it, you want to go to Zapier and start building your AI automation. So we are going to start with our trigger. And in this case, obviously we are going to be using Facebook Messenger. So firstly, you want to choose the event. And for the trigger, you have only one option, which is a new message is sent to your page. I'm going to continue. And then you want to simply connect your Messenger account with Zapier. It's super simple. You log in, you choose which Facebook pages you want to connect and then you are good to go. I have already done that, so I'm going to continue. And then based on which pages you chose that can get access to Zapier, you're going to see that you can choose from a drop-down menu over here. And so in this case, we're going to be using pop-up slant. If you don't see them over here, but you have given the access, you can simply click on refresh fields and then they should appear. All right, we can continue. And right now we are going to test this. And for this, we have to write a test message to our Facebook page. All right, and for this, I'm going to write a test message. Hi, what is pop-up slant and what can my company use it for? I'm going to send it over and I'm going to find new records. And as you can see, I have found the new message over here. And if I click on that one, you can see it's from me and it includes the question that I have just written down. Today is 24th of January. So we right now know that it receives the information from Messenger and we can continue. So I'm going to go and continue with the selected record. And then the first action is maybe surprising, but I'm going to use Delay by Zapier. Delay by Zapier is a built-in app. And in this case, you want to make it more human-like. So you want to delay the response maybe for a few minutes and only then let the AI assistant to answer the question. So I'm going to go and choose the event delay four. We are going to continue. And in this case, I chose the time delayed for 10 and I chose the minutes as the units. 
Now this depends on how much you want to delay it. Maybe you can also skip this part, but you have to take into account how it's going to look like if someone writes a very long message and they immediately after a few seconds get a very nice long reply from the AI assistant. It's probably not gonna look very organic, and maybe that's what you want to avoid. But remember that you should not delay this for more than 24 hours. And the reason why is that the AI automation is not gonna be run through if the message is older than 24 hours. Right, we can continue. And then you can test this step, but there's nothing really to test. So we can continue. And then the second action you are going to perform is going to be to spark the conversation with your assistant. So for this, you want to choose the ChatGPT block and you're going to choose the event called conversation with assistant. This is not really a new event over here. It's been live for around two months, but for some, it might be new. You might be used to using the conversation event above that. So make sure to choose the conversation with the assistant because we want to utilize the assistant, obviously. And then we are going to continue. You want to connect your ChatGPT account with Zapier. Once again, it's very simple. You go and generate an API key on OpenAI, and then you simply paste it over here, and then you are good to go. I have already done that, so I can continue. And right now we are going to build the message that is going to be sent to our assistant. Then the assistant is going to take into account its instructions and give us the reply to any inquiry or question. So for this, just to save time, I'm going to go inside my database where I store all my AI automations. You can see we're right now building this one, customer support uh, AI chatbot on Facebook page. And so right now you can see we are on the conversation with the assistant event and we have already done this so i don't have to do anything because i have shown you this in the video already and then the only thing i'm looking for is this prompt over here so i'm just going to copy this one and then paste it directly inside my zapier inside the message field you can pause the video and read through it if you want. One of the most important thing here is that you want to set up the details parameter over here. You definitely want to limit the length of the output. The reason why is that you will experience an error if you are going to write very long automated messages. All right, and the second most important thing you have to do is to choose your assistant. Remember, you have already created the assistant, so you don't have to set up any rules or anything how it should act. It already has the instructions and the base prompt that it's acting upon. And so what you can do here right now in Zapier is that you can go and choose whichever assistant you have just created and choose that one to always answer the question that comes to your Facebook page. In this case, we are going to obviously use the one that we have created. It's Facebook Messenger Chatbot. And then you can set up the assistant name, assistant instructions. So Zapier is making it easier for you here to uh, set it up if you are creating the AI assistant directly inside Zapier. Remember that if you don't choose your assistant from OpenAI and leave it empty, Zapier will create a new assistant each time you run your Zap using the fields below. So that is why you can leave these blank and then you can continue to the last part, which is one of the most important things. You want to set up your conversation ID. In this case, you want to go back to your trigger and choose a unique identifier for the person who is messaging you on Facebook. So we are going to go to our trigger and you want to go and choose the sender PSID. This is going to let the AI assistant know that this is the same person if they are messaging you. It can then continue the conversation and it's basically going to remember this person within one thread. And then we are pretty much done. We can continue right now. And right now you want to test this action, whether it works. So I'm going to test this action. And just like that, we got the results. So you wanna scroll down and find the output called full response. This is the variable that is going to store the output that the AI assistant has generated for you. And so based on the instructions, as well as the prompt, the chatbot generated this answer. It's within the 500 characters, and it also includes the call to action at the end, which if you remember, was one of the part of our prompt that we put together. All right, so right now I'm very happy with the answer. So I'm going to continue. And right now we are in the last action. In this part, you want to choose Facebook Messenger as the app once again, and the event is going to be the only one that you can choose from. And in this time, because we are in the action, you want to send message from page. We are going to continue. Once again, connect your Facebook page with your Zapier account. If you have already done that previously, you don't have to worry and you can just continue. And right now you want to go and choose three things. The first one is going to be the name of the page. In this case, 
we are going to choose pop-ups land. And then the important thing here is that you have to choose the recipient ID. In this case, you want to choose once again, the sender PS ID. You want to go inside your trigger and then find the sender PS ID and put it in this field. And then in the last part, we have generated the output with our AI assistant. And because we want to automate it, we're going to be using the dynamic variable that ChatGPT has generated for us. So you want to click on that and you want to go to your conversation with assistant and you're going to find the full response dynamic variable that is each time going to be different, obviously, for different users and place it directly over here. All right, so we are actually done so we can continue. And right now, last part is to actually test this, whether this whole automation works. So I'm going to test this action. And just like that, we got the results. So we got the green check mark. And as you can see, on my panel over here we have a new message on our Facebook so I'm going to check that out and yeah it has worked so we got the answer about what the business is about what it can do for the company and then at the end we have a very nice call to action that is going to invite the prospect to book a demo on our website the last part is that you want to name your zap in this corner over here I have named it the Facebook page messenger maybe a quick tip would be to name it by the names of the apps that are used within your zap and so you can go ahead and say message Messenger, delay, chat GPT assistant, and then once again, messenger. And then you simply just have to publish this app over here or in this corner over here, and then you are good to go. Remember, if you wanna know more how you can leverage the 3P framework to write down effective prompts that are going to give you very high quality results, either if you're using ChatGPT conversation in Zapier or building your AI assistants, then go ahead and check the first thing in the description down below, where I put together a completely for free, no junk resource, where I explain you the 3P framework and how you can use different parameters to get the most out of AI. Remember that this database, which includes the topic, step order, trigger event, and then all the instructions with the prompts, as well as the action that you have to use at the end of your zap with very nice tags that you can just filter through. You can find it in the first thing in the description down below as well. I update this database on a regular basis. You can also duplicate this template and make it your own. So make sure to check that out if you're interested. If you wanna know and learn AI automation, then make sure to subscribe down below because I post every single week. Thank you so much and have a great day.